In today's video, you are going to need your plastic cups because this is another plastic cup game video. This is the second in a series and you're going to need ping pong paddles like this <laughs> as well as ping pong balls and hold on, I've got it right here, hold on, a hula hoop. <laughs> Don't forget the hula hoop. All right, let's get into today's four games featuring plastic cups. Here we go. For the first game, set out 20 plastic cups per player. Here, there are two of us playing, so we had 40 plastic cups, 20 on each side of the table, and then you see who can stack those cups together the fastest. We have a lot of fun with this game. We get a little competitive. Moving on to game number two. For this game, you are going to need your hula hoop, two plastic cups, and one ping pong ball. This game is best played as team game. Playing with more than one team is ideal. So you want at least six players so that you can have two teams. Each team will have three players. One player holds the hula hoop and the other two team members each have a cup and you toss a ping pong ball between the cups and see how many times in a row you can catch the ping pong ball as it goes through the hula hoop in your cup. Hi, my name is Sean. Welcome to Prayer Lights. If you are new, I would love for you to consider subscribing to this channel. I post DIY party games twice a week. All right, moving on to game number three. For this game, you are going to need one balloon per player and one plastic cup. And yes, I fell to mention that you're going to need balloons at this game. At the very beginning in the intro, I failed to mention you are a balloon, so I apologize for that. Blow up your balloon and see who can blow their cup across the table the fastest with the air in their balloon. Now, we did do a little spin off of this, and I'm going to show you right now. My husband and son thought it would be so much fun because our table is so short and small. We were going to do it across our hall floor, and I think that that was a lot more fun because it made it more challenging. Moving on to game number four. For game number four, you're going to need need one ping pong paddle per player as well as one ping pong ball per player and some red plastic cups. The goal of this is to bounce the ball off of your ping pong paddle into each of the cups and whoever does this the fastest is the winner. I will see you in tomorrow's game. Thanks for watching. Bye!